quite a collection of these homebrews and hacks and shit so let's let's play a couple I won't be getting through all of them mostly because a lot of them are Mario games and for some reason I input does nothing with all Mario games even just regular Mario so all right first up just first off the list no no other reason but we have Castle 4 which is Castlevania hack. I have no idea which of the games it's hacking. I'm assuming the first, but it could be the third. Nah, yeah, damn it. So this is pretty much an entire game. A lot of the games I have are just, uh, sprite changes. The changes are only cosmetic in nature. So, let's go pick up some items. I haven't played too far into any Castlevania games except for Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. And so far, this isn't really following Castlevania 4 that much, so... I have no idea why it's called Castle 4. I guess what somebody thought should have been Castlevania 4 is what this is. I, I really can't be sure. I, I know nothing about the vast majority of these games. Yes, it's just fine, it's just the controls seem a little stiff. And it's ever so slightly unresponsive. I don't know if that's just because it's Castlevania or what. I'm just not familiar enough. Oh! There's invisible stairs there! Oh, wow. There's an invisible no jumping pad there too. Jumps are so precise, but the controls are so imprecise. It's really different. Or difficult. Not that different. I played a lot of shitty games in my in my lifetime. God damn it! Where were the stairs on that one? So yeah, that's Castle Four. Um, I have another Castlevania hack here. It's another full fan-made game. Let's see, open. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing here, but I am switching games. Because when it's on the game select screen of the menu, it just won't record. It's weird. Okay, so. 
Now we have Castlevania Fan Edition. Is the title. Huh. Looks like Simon's Quest. Reminds me of Simon's Quest. I don't know if it's actually a hack of Simon's Quest, because as I said, I'm not familiar enough with the Castlevania games to know which one without any hesitation here. Oh my god. Controls are so sturf! Yeah, this is definitely a problem that all the Castlevania games have. Did I just break a tree in the background and get... It makes no sense. That's weird. We could have swore there was a... Oh, fuck. God damn. Dicks. Hard. From the stiff controls to the freaking unforgiving enemy placement. I don't know which is more deadly. Okay, you got some hearts. Use a this guy. Ah! Dick. Yeah! Fuck you! Huh. Stage 3? supposed to be like but it is less stiff than the other one but it is still pretty fucking stiff sorry I'm using the word stiff stiff are so stiff. See what I just did? I just made it weird. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? No one who knows me on a personal level, you know. It's what I do. Take perfectly innocent situations. Just make it weird. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do a full playthrough here. So, I guess that ends my demo for this game. I might come back and play more of it. It depends on how you guys react. But... Uh, next one is... Ah, this will do. So, what is this? This is Dragon Ball Z Super Batoden 2. Uh, it's supposed to be on Super Nintendo, but somebody made it. This beast so that can be put on the NES. Alright, so let's be. I wanna be Vegeta, because he's my favorite. Oh my god. Mash buttons, mash buttons, mash buttons. Oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, so this is supposed to be on the Super Nintendo with, oh, uh, let's count them, six more buttons. 
Let's see. All I have is an A button and a B button. One punches, one kicks. Apparently the computers have full use of all the attacks. There's supposed to be a jump button, a... A button to fly up in the sky, a button to... R and L buttons dash across the screen, and a button to shoot uh, fireballs. Oh, here I am. If I hadn't said that already, certain combinations of those buttons are supposed to do like ultimate attacks. Oh, I got. Oh, I had him stun locked for a second. Yeah. And plus, the background is static, but we're moving around, scrolling through the map. <laughs> so... Yeah. Oh, shit. I have no idea what the fuck. Come on. I got you. Oh, fuck. I lost again. That one was closer, though. So yeah, that's what that is. There's The story mode was eliminated, but there is a two-player and computer-on-computer -computer mode. So, I don't know, I'll check that out later. In my free time. So, next game. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, there's a good one. This all looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Sounds familiar, too. Wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> so, this one, by far, is my favorite. Mostly because I'm a huge Evil Dead fan. But this is Zelda 2 Evil Dead version. I have a game started up from earlier. I haven't progressed any. I just kind of flipped it on and see what the fuck it was when I first got it. So let's go around. Yeah. I named my character Ash because, of course, that's who he is. Let's walk around. Let's do a battle zone. Oh, those guys are skeleton, skeletal dead ends now. Cool. Let's walk around some more. Oh my god, the little blobby guys are mini ashes. Cool. Good, bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Spiders are still spiders, though. Oh, shit. I am... I am in dire need of health. Fucking spiders. They're my least favorite enemy in this game. Fuck, dicks. <laughs> My god, this is just... <laughs> Man. familiar enough with the game to understand what the fuck I did. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the dungeon. I've had about enough of this place. Well, we'll go to the dungeon and see what's different there.
let's see what the game over screen looks like now. Oops. What the? Yes, those are normally in the game. Right here. Uh. <laughs> that's not Ganon, that's the Necronomicon, you goof. Okay, so that's what that is. Just a simple sprite swap. Let's see here. Next game. Scroll down here. There's what I'm playing now. Here we go. Another sprite swap. This looks like Mega Man 2. Okay. I mean, it says Mega Man 2 right on the screen, doesn't it? Ha 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 ha, I fooled you with my terrific acting. So, yeah, this is Mega Man 2, except they swapped, uh, there's a dog barking at the neighbors or something. Anyway. This is, uh, Mega Man 2, except they swapped the sprite for a normal Mega Man with an 8-bit reproduction of Mega Man X. other minor changes. Notice when you shoot, it's normal Mega Man with different colors. Same when you jump. Oh, got that. And the sprite flicker there, that particular spot, isn't as bad as it normally is. You like me some health? This is a good place to farm for sure. of that uh, Evil Dead game I just played. Uh, if I ever decide to play through, say, Zelda 2, I might just use that instead. Instead of actually playing. With this, I'd rather play Mega Man 2 regular. Because I love Mega Man 2. This is... Not exactly the same. Oh, 
call me old fashioned, but there are just some things that I find untouchable. So let's finish up this level. Mistaken, it's uh, Flash Man's or Flash Man stage, but I'm not sure. I don't know. If you're asking me why I do Metal Man first, it's simple. His move is OP. Metal Blades are freaking so overpowered, and in the days before patching, that was a major thing. Oh, I can beat him. I can beat him. Yeah. Yeah. Cars are loud. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Sorry if I sound kind of weird there. I kind of choked on my own spit while I was saying that. So, what else do I have? Ah, here's a good one. Ah, regular Metroid, right? Zero Suit Samus Edition, haha. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, usually you have to, I think, I don't know if it's even real or not, but you have to, like, beat the game in a certain amount of time to be able to unlock this costume for Samus. Or something like it. But now it's just immediately available from the get-go. I like it. It's it's just normal Metroid with Zero Suit Samus. That's a that's something we can all get behind. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I'm joking. I'm not a behind kind of person. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's just Metroid. Nothing too fancy about it. It's, I've never been able to get too far in Metroid, to be honest. It's a really hard game. If you guys haven't played it, you wouldn't know the struggles I've seen. I, I encourage you, go out and play the original Metroid for NES. You will be shocked at how freaking difficult getting around is. I mean, the, the controls are really nice, tight, and responsive. Uh, and it, it, pl 
plays nice. It's just so unforgiving. So, yeah. You die once, you start all the fuck over. You get your you keep your items, but you start all the fuck over. Think you lose your energy tanks that you've amassed. And you start all the way back here. And the map for this game is huge. It's fucking irritating. I have gotten I've got to the missiles, and that's as far as I've gotten in this game. It's so fucking hard. And people like uh, James Rolfe and Mike Mate at Cinemassacre, because I'm a big fan of theirs, uh, they played it on their James and Mike Mondays, and they fucking... I watched him just blow through parts that I had massive amounts of trouble with. <laughs> so, good job to them. <laughs> Fucking sons of bitches. So that's all that is. Um, next, next hack. Uh, again, I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, it's just, uh file browser opened up with my ROM list on it. Uh, oh, this one's really good. Some of you may think this looks familiar. <laughs> this is a hack of the uh, infamous Friday the 13th NES game. Renamed September the 27th. Um, this game is a reference to something. I have no idea what it is, though. I don't know what that is. It's just a black screen, and you have to hit start again to start the game. So, nurses. Three nurses, George, Paul, and Dr. K. Let's start off with Dr. K. Use the torch to cut the cornflakes. Ah, <laughs> oh, the zombies look goofy. This is a reference to a movie or a TV show, but I have no idea what it is. Ooh, key. Alright, so that, that key's important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a little bit. Where's Jason right now? Okay, he's just up the hill. Or along the path. Hopefully I'm going the right fucking way. Am I? I passed it. Right, come on. Okay. God damn it. God damn it. If you hit the D-pad too many times, you go right back in the house. Okay, that... Sucked. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Wilfred. Wilfred Brimley? Oh, jeez, it's Wilfred Brimley! <laughs> Holy shit! What? God damn. I'm in a fucking Friday the 13th game. <laughs> Fighting Wolford Brimley <laughs> trying to cook cornflakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that <laughs> I will never get over that. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, who's the nearest dipshit? Alright, Nurse 3 is at the house. Alright, our epic rematch with Wilford fucking Brimley. <laughs> I 
I'm curious to see what Jason's mother eat flakes for now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, there he is again! Get back here, you diabetes! Get back here with your diabetes! Oh no, he gave me diabetes! <laughs> diabetes isn't funny, but. Well, I just fucking said it again, didn't I? Diabetes is not funny, but. God damn it, the word diabetes is fucking hysterical. Alright, so let's see if that key reappears. And let's see what Jason's mother looks like. Because if you didn't know, she shows up in this game somewhere. Somewhere in the cave. So, how you farm for items is just walk around them. Zombies. That's it. Yeah, it's not patience. Did I mention that this place, that the map says this is Battle Creek Sanatorium and Clinic? <laughs> that's that's really a nice detail because uh, I live in Michigan. And Battle Creek isn't too far away. For a local boy like me, it's the Easter egg to end all Easter eggs. Okay, where's Wolford Brimley? <laughs> God damn it. Why did they put Wolford Brimley in this game? <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> It's referencing some kind of game, or not game, but uh, oh, Wilford Brimley's killing patients. Oh, that's a saltier term than I thought it would be. Wolf Wilford Brimley is testing my patience. <laughs> oh my god, this is so unbelievably funny. I'm sorry, but I, I'm gonna have to end this. So let's end the video on this note. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. So anyway, have a great day. Also, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Mr. Kittles. Uh, let me just open this up here. Oh, jeez. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Okay. So I have a shout out to give Mr. Tiggles. Yes, Mr. Tiggles. Uh, he's a YouTuber who gave me a some really good advice earlier. Um, he, he told me about this program called Audacity. It really helps clean up the audio on my videos. So thank you so much for to Mr. Tickles for showing me this because clean audio was an issue I've been having. So thanks a lot. Um, Alright, so have a great day. I've, I've padded off this ending long enough. Good night, guys.